Hello there viewers, it's me, Giza, and yeah, oh, what a surprise, me starting another Let's Play. Yeah, well, a few days ago, well, about two weeks ago actually, my stepdad had a stroke. So I haven't actually been able to find time to do any Let's Plays or videos at all, which I apologise for. I mean, it's not my fault or anything, but I still apologise for it because it's me. So I'm actually going to be starting this new Let's Play because all my other Let's Plays are really difficult to do. I mean, seriously, they are very hard to actually make, you know... There are lots of, I'm getting lots of complications and stuff like that. So, this is really easy for me to record. I can just record it and then put my voice in afterwards. Make, make lots of, you know, hopefully this will be a fun Let's Play, which I can do just to tie me over until I can get my other Let's Plays finished when, you know, I get a bit more, when times get a bit more stable for me, if you get what I mean, viewers. Uh, and I, I thank you very much for your patience with me. So yeah, this is Final Fantasy 3. This is actually Final Fantasy 6, but I'm going to be doing the SNES version because SNES games are really easy to record once you know how to do it. So yes, let me explain the plot lot to you, viewers. Thousand years have passed since the War of the Magi, where humans used magic, war, war raged throughout the land, and things got decimated, and that really hurts my throat doing that voice. Yeah. So there are some people who try to enslave the world, and they want to revive the destructive force known as magic. <coughs> you know what? I asked for that. So this is the plot of the story. Basically, there are people who want to enslave the world by reviving the destructive force known as magic. Can it be those in power or on the verge of repeating us endless? And deadly mistake? Question mark. I mean, at the time, this is really good graphics. Now, there are other ports for this game, if you want to play along with me, which is doubtful, because you need viewers for that. But there's the PS1 port, which I'm, I could recommend to you, because... Um, brain farting constantly. Uh, yeah, these are Vixen Wedge. I'll come back to that bit in a bit. This is Vixen Wedge. This is actually a very bad translation for Biggs and Wedge of Star Wars. Yeah, there's a town, okay. Oh, an Esper. A thousand years, wow, it's... You would have thought someone had noticed that after a thousand years. That doesn't explain anything. And what's with the original sprite over here? Why is she here? Well, maybe she's here to help us. Fifty. Fifty in three minutes. That's quite slow. You know the magic for fire? You would have thought you could take out more than fifty in three minutes. Slave crown on her head. Oh, these guys are obviously the good guys. I bet they don't have some sort of horrible death being transformed into the void. That would be terrible. And we get this awesome, like, mode 7 bit of transport. Yeah, look at us in our fancy machines. I don't like them machines. Rick and Maddie, we didn't, <coughs> we didn't have those machines. Yeah, but the uh, the War of the Magi kind of like destroyed the world, uh, taking away magic for everyone. It's pretty, it's actually a pretty bleak world at the beginning. It's sort of like some steampunk fantasy. It's like a precursor for Final Fantasy VII. Uh, like I was saying earlier, um, at this point, I'm actually going to do this off screen. I'm going to restart it. Is I'm going to kill uh, Wedge and Vix here in the first battle with the fire move, so I can get more experience for Terra. Uh, it's probably worth it. It makes the game a bit easier. I mean, it's not... You don't have to do it, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway, because I love you. Uh, this is the fighting system. It's got the ATB fighting system. Uh, as you can see, Terra has a lot more Magitek moves. Uh, these Magitek's are just when you're in these suits, and you're not in these suits for quite long in the game, so just enjoy this bitch while you can. Uh, yeah. Wedge and Vix have like very generic moves such as um, fire, ice and thunder beams as well as a healing move where um, Terra has a few more interesting moves. She has Bio Blast which is a poison move which hits everyone. She has Confuser which just like confuses everyone there. <laughs> what, a, what a surprise. Um, yeah, this is the menu as you can see. You can actually change things around. I'm actually going to put Wedge as the main character for the lulls. Uh, oh, what was I saying? There's, yeah, there's Bioblast Confuser, there's Expert, which is sort of like an instant death move. It's like sending you to the void. Uh, there's Magitek Missile, or Tech Missile, I think that's what it's called. That's awesome. That, that takes off a, 
pretty huge amount of damage against one particular enemy, which I'll be using for a certain snail of a boss. Yeah, whale of a boss, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's all there is, really. Uh, she also comes with some magic moves, which I wouldn't recommend using right now, because your yeah, overall magic tech's a bit powerful. But they will be useful later in the game. You have, like, fire and cure, and um, I can't remember what level it is, but you learn poison as well. So yeah, this is our mysterious girl. Hopefully I haven't ruined her name. Oh yeah, so like I was saying, if you want to be playing along with me, um, there are different ports for the game. There's a PlayStation 1 port, which I wouldn't recommend because it's quite slow. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very slow. It's not... Like... Yeah. But it's just a long loading time because of the CD. And I don't really like the graphics. And there's the Game Boy Advance version, which I would recommend because it's portable. You, you don't have to turn the PlayStation and everything on. And another great thing about it is there's lots of add-ons. There are, there are other espers which you can get later in the game. There's an added dungeon, which I don't think I've done, but there's an added dungeon and added bosses. So there's bonus content and there's a bit of a bit of a rework in the script uh, department. Yeah, so this is great. We walk into a random town and get attacked. Uh, this is the introduction of pincer attacks. Pincer attacks are basically, well, you get cornered basically. i said basically so many times. Yeah, you just get cornered. Uh, nothing really to worry about. They're not very common. It's just another thing which is included in um, preemptive strikes and back attacks. Yeah, this game. This game is really fun. If I'm being honest, uh, at some point I will start cutting out random battles. I think because you won't want. To, if you want, if you want me to cut out random battles, please tell me. Oh, and another thing I might add: when I get to the part of getting new characters, please feel free to send in requests to make. To give uh, your favourite character your name while I'm doing this Let's Play. Um, if you'd like to give a request for any other name, uh, I'll be more than glad to do it for you. Um, and I apologise for not being able to do my Pokemon Silver and Fable and that. It's just that my situation at the moment means it's, it's very, very difficult for me to... Uh, yeah, Very, very difficult for me to actually concentrate on things and be able to have the patience to do games that are difficult. So all my other Let's Plays at the moment are being put on hold, including L.A. Noir and things like that. So this is going to be my only Let's Play. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to ever come back to the others. I, I, I do apologise. I mean, if it weren't for my stepdad having a stroke... I mean, I, always, I was starting to get on with reviews and stuff, but I don't think I'll be able to now. Maybe after Christmas I can start getting my reviews and songs and Spreaker back up, but... Yeah, for the time being, I'm just going to try and get maybe one or two, maybe three a week. Possibly if I'm feeling good and I've got a few recorded, I can get, you know, one every day up, but... I'm not promising anything. <laughs> Shaft. Well, I, well, it was located in a mine shaft, and this is the only one here. Well, I wonder where it could possibly be. Uh, in here is the introduction of a random battles. These are were rats. Now, I believe that these absorb poison, so do not use your bio blast, which I like to call it, because it's poisonous. And if you look, she lifts up her armpits when she does it. So it's bio blast. She goes in front of them, waft, and yeah. And also, I'm not going to be reading out what the NPCs said like I did in Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon games. I'm actually going to be putting witty remarks to after what they said, because you can read. Thinking about it, you can read, so I don't need to read everything out for you. If you can't read, I'm sorry, this is going to be quite a bad Let's Play for you. What, what are you going to do, Vix? Whoa! Vix is a tank! Literally, he's actually in a tank. That's why he did it. He isn't really that strong. Okay. And yes, it's boss time! Let's get ready to rumble! No, no, but that's not needed. Uh, this is the famous tutorial battle before we actually start. Yeah, it's not a very hard boss. It's just like the Mist Dragon from Final Fantasy IV. Basically, when it... Oh, sorry if you heard that. That was me lifting my blinds up to look outside. Um, if it goes inside its shell, then don't attack it, or it will counter-attack with a very hard move. And ironically, this being the tutorial battle, it's actually, like, the most strategic battle of the game. Like, not many other battle... Not any other... Bo not many other boss battles actually have this sort of strategy. 
But like I was saying with naming the characters earlier, yeah, there are about 16 characters and there are a few secret ones. So if you'd like to send me a private message, don't put any spoilers in the comment section. Um, Poe, you're probably going to be watch this in, watching this and commenting, so you get first dibs on whatever character you'd like to be, apart from Terra as I name her at the end of this episode. But in your Pokemon Crystal, you're already in drag, so without you want to be another girl. Oh, but you're not allowed a certain... Ninja in the shadows, if you get what I mean, if hopefully you've played this game. So, Po and everybody out there, you're not allowed to be the cool ninja, okay? I'm the cool ninja. Yeah, so as you can see, don't attack the shell. This battle really doesn't have much strategy, just uh, tech missile whenever the head's out, and also use the uh, fire beams. Uh, I would say this game is one of the easiest Final Fantasies to play. It does, it, later in the game it does pick up a bit, but I would say if you're looking for one which is really fun, because this is my second favourite Final Fantasy, if you're wondering which one my, my, is actually my favourite, it's a number 9, and hopefully, I'm, I'm trying to save up for a few things at the moment, and uh, I'm, I'm going to send Connor this after I've finished it, because uh, at E3, I believe, or in some Square Enix thing, apparently there's a uh, HD Final Fantasy X remix coming out. So I might be saving up for a PlayStation 3. And if I do, I will be downloading things such as um, Final Fantasy 9, 7, 8 and Tactics. So I can put it on my PSP and stuff like that. So I'm, I, I will definitely consider doing a Final Fantasy 9 Let's Play after I've done this. I'm actually going to start getting into the Final Fantasies. Even if they're not as popular as Pokemon, it's just I can't do a Pokemon at the moment. Game Boy Advance emulators are really, really annoying. But yeah, this is the Esper. Try talk. And clearly Terra is enthralled by it because, well, she just walked up to it. Just like me with all women walking up to me, definitely not running a race, screaming, saying, my eyes, my eyes. <laughs> that never happens. And Wedge and Vix disappear, never to be explained where they go and never to be seen again. Thank God they were annoying. And, yeah, after this I'm going to be doing this whole sequence again, just with... Um, Terra, so her level will be much higher next time. I'll actually show you the difference you can get in levels. I believe she's level 3 now. And we somehow get teleported here without being told. Yeah, that, that's one of the weaknesses in the plot. Sometimes The plot is very good though. The villain is excellent. The characters are all different. One thing you need to do all the time, viewers, uh, there's no dash button, you can get relics to do it, but check clocks constantly because you will usually find... An elixir, which it, they add up, seriously. I think you could probably get about 9 or 10 just looking at clocks, so I'd recommend it. <laughs> I only just removed the crown. Does that sound wrong to you? And use your words, Terra. Head hurts isn't a very good description. Well, actually it is. Slave crown. They had complete control. I wonder how long they actually put the slave crown on, because they never actually explain. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. Yes, this is the main character, Terra. Uh, Terra is pretty... There's two halves of the game, and she's pretty much the main character for this half. Or oh, the story is more focused around her and her struggle. I mean, technically she isn't the main character, but I think she is. And I'm not going to call her Terra, I'm going to call her after my very best friend, Sophie. And don't worry, we don't go out. <laughs> God, if I show her this video, she's going to beat me up. Oh, well. Yeah, this is Sophie. So, why did the Empire take us? Why am I doing this new Let's Play? Where are we? What did the Slave Crown actually force us to do? Are we really powerful enough to take out 50 soldiers in 3 minutes? And why, oh why, is my penis so huge? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please give me some feedback. Please tell me if you want to be named after a character. I'm sorry I'm having to cancel all these Let's Plays, but, you know, that's life. At least I'm doing something. So, yeah, this is Geezer from Team K8 wishing you all a very good day. And 